Hello, Halo fans. Welcome back here. ANZ HCS Super is getting towards the final moments before we get to crown our champion here in ANZ. We're looking towards our elimination final right now. Three teams remain left standing here to fight for the glory of ANZ and a $20,000 coin purse in American dollars as well. For us Australians, it's a whole boatload of cash. We've got brand new lads here on the desk. or a brand new lad. We've got Hoots as well as Inman. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, I'm pretty good. How are you, Luke? I'm feeling pretty good. That That's was, good. That kind of warmed me up, that last series. It's just like, when you look at something like that and you go, yeah, we're going to come into the winner's bracket final. It is going to be sick. And then Chiefs just go, no. And then they're just in the grand final. Now they have to wait for another series to be done. Like, it just warms me up. Yeah, yeah. That, that wasn't anything special, to be honest. You know, yeah. I there was a few hype plays. I was getting really excited for what I saw coming out of barcode but really it was just and that's another day at the office there yeah. for the chiefs it's just a highlight reel for those guys and i'm just excited to see what they can do on the grand final i'm excited to see if either of these two teams can start to contest these guys because right now we're looking at this elimination final it is going to be divine mind and team immunity going head to head hoots last time we saw divine mind and team immunity go head to head it was team immunity who came out on top but divine mind they came in today red hot three up against the direwolves and they're looking to try and bounce back and get back in to that grand final yeah you're absolutely looted. Right, it was a five-game series last time. Yep. But Divine Mind were very strong in our opening series today. It was a different Divine Mind to what we saw yesterday. They just seemed a lot more on the same page, um, I felt. They they made a few silly decisions last night um, when we did watch them, but they just had it all on lock. And Flex Reigns, I'll say it again, I'm the broken record, but <laughs> he just, every decision he makes is the right one. Yeah, I know, and it really does feel like these guys have woken up on the right side of the bed, but Team Immunity, these guys came in in these last couple of days, Josh, and really proved to us that these guys are here to party. Unfortunately, it's not the showing they wanted against the Chiefs, but at the end of the day, it is the Chiefs they were going up against, and they're looking once again to try and bounce back here in the elimination. Yeah, I don't think that they expected anything different, and that's why I was explaining on the cast that I don't think they're actually going to be too tilted or yeah. thrown off here, if I'm being honest. I think this is the match. This is the one. I wish I was over there, to be honest, because oh, mate, come scream, on. I think I might dive it. Sorry, Hoots. I'm <laughs> now. I think I might jump over there and start screaming with the guys, even if, if I don't have a headset on, because uh, for me, this was the match of the tournament. And again, I don't know if anyone's going to get salty at me. Maybe they will. But this was, for me, always the tournament for second place. Yeah. And I'm yeah. really keen to see how this is going to go. I'm excited to see who's going to be left standing here. But interesting enough, Josh, the ask about Team Immunity's mental. We're actually able to catch up with Voltage just before this series. Yeah, so the Chiefs match then, they obviously were just playing um, extremely well. And we definitely sort of uh, started the day off quite slow today. Um, not really any excuses other than the fact that we need to we need to do better. We're playing very disconnected and the communications were a little bit down. So, and they obviously played phenomenal as well. So it definitely did uh, create, you know, what was an easy win for them. So we definitely need to pick it up in this next series. Yeah, look, I definitely know we're capable of bouncing back. Um, we've done it multiple times before. So we're not really concerned about that. I guess it all just comes down to now if we can all just sort of switch on, flick the switch, which I expect us to do, and hopefully we can take out the win. Yeah, I, I definitely want, I'm hungry to verse Chiefs again. I want to sort of make up for that last series that we just played against them and put on a better performance. So I'd love to be able to match up against them and we will go in with full confidence if we're capable of doing so. Um, if we do make it to those grand finals and definitely get some revenge, hopefully. Special shout out to Voltage being able to jump into that interview directly after that loss from the Chiefs and give us the insights about how Team Immunity are feeling going into this series here against Divine Mind. And I think Josh, you kind of hit the nail on the head, right? Like th th those guys certainly do feel like that coming into this, it was a series going up against the Chiefs that you're just hoping to try and perform. They didn't feel like they performed all too well, but they're ready to bounce back here against Divine Mind. Yeah, indeed they are. And I just want to point something out from that interview as well. You said you were straight out of losers interview. There's something, you know, there's that old adage, you don't tell a champion from their winner's interviews, but from their loser's interviews. Yeah, yeah. And I think the Voltage did that extremely well. And that, for me, that interview was all I needed to see that their mentals are exactly where I thought they would be, aka untouched. Which mm. is why I think they are going to be dangerous going into this match here against the Divine Mind. Yeah, I'm excited to see, especially when he talked about the hunger to go in towards that grand final and try and have the rematch with the Chiefs. But lads, let's look at these maps that we're going to be having here for our elimination final. This is potentially the last time we're going to be seeing either one of these two teams and hoots. We're going to be starting out with Oddball on streets. To me, this has always been a kind of great equalizer map for a lot of these teams. Yeah, I mean, it's my favorite game type and map, and it's actually the game type that we saw them play uh, yesterday where they had a really, really close one. Yeah, um, yeah, they, yeah. We had to reset it just due to a disconnect, but it came right down to the wire. Um, 
and we had these two fine gentlemen casting it. I think it was the Milk series. Oh, no, I, uh, not the infamous correctly. Milk series. I know oh, you want no, me to bring it up, Josh, we but don't, I have. I'm sorry. We, we don't want to bring <laughs> up the Milk series. We all made a deal to not bring up the Milk series. Hoots, this bloody guy. <laughs> Hoots, man, he's bringing up the Milk, bringing up the socks, bringing up everything. I but I think today. at this point... Actually, yeah, all right. You've upgraded actually... the socks. Unfortunately, I haven't upgraded my socks, but luckily enough for us, we've actually upgraded our casters this time around. So to the lads here on the desk, we're already <laughs> here guy. for our elimination finals. So let's jump it over to SSJ4 and Bluey. What do you mean upgrade? What? A poor no, Inman. No, no. How is that? What? I'm a bit curious to talk. I'm going to need to have a word with uh, Luke a little bit later on about that one. I feel like that's a bit too offensive on Inman's behalf. But Justin, here we are again. And I want to say I did have a nightmare about you chugging milk last night, but let's just leave it at that. That uh, doesn't sound uh, very nice to me. I mean, I don't want to be a nightmare. I want to be in your dreams. Okay, but well, that's another nightmare. Very nice so. words from the boys on the couch oh. there. Ah, yeah. Slip one last in. Okay, I, I swear I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I, I, I promise. Maybe. Anyway, we are launching into this game, and Josh said he was a little bit jealous that he isn't casting this one, and all I've got to say is, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> this is the game of the day, in my opinion. Divine Mind versus Immunity. It's going to be an absolute cracker, and we're launching in with Raided from Divine Mind. Throwing a grenade out, but you see the Immunity players already pushing up. 1v1, Benno getting the better of Raided in that situation now with Hef. Eyes on that ball at the moment, but here comes Flex Reigns coming in with the flank, taking him out for Berserk. He's got those rocks. Yeah, Berserk was very, very fast indeed, just completely splinting, uh, sprinting Sorry, down bottom mid, grabbing those rockets straight off the bat. He's only used one. I'm not sure if he managed to connect with it before. He's still got one in the back, which is uh, a lot of pressure to work with here. Doesn't exactly connect the kill, but does help with a nice little assist onto Benno there. Team Immunity off to a bit of a shaky start, just in positioning and ground control on this map. They are doing incredibly well so far. Now with Flex, he's been raining on people's parade all day, and now he's putting some shots down onto Hef Voltage in a little bit of a predicament right now. Shields are flashing. A lot of red X's in the kill feed for Team Immunity currently. Voltage doing his best to hold oh. off two players, peeking out a little bit too long and taken down in here comes that Divine Mind push through there to break that setup. Two members right there of Divine Mind were one shot for pretty much that entire time, and they still just managed to get away with their life, opting to rather just take the less peak approach to this battle and just hide back, stay in. Benno, unfortunately, just tried to clean up those kills, but was immediately punished by the rain of hell coming down from the members of Divine Mind, something that we're so used to seeing. They do have such a nice, aggressive team shot. Yeah, they will never let those one-shot players get away. They will do everything they can to clean them up. But now, Raided, he seemed to be OBJ player this game, uh, putting points on the board pretty consistently for Divine Mind so far. Immunity are coming in to try and break this setup, though. Voltage going down. Raided kind of baiting the balls. Voltage, hold this while I shoot you in the back, taking him down. And Raided, he's cleaned house, but it does look like there's an Immunity player being very sneaky behind him. I don't think uh, Raided knows he's there. Look how consistent the Slays are coming out from Divine Mind. Pretty much their entire team is just staying with each other in all of these fights, getting up kills and assists at the same time. Team Immunity right now seem a little bit scattered. Hef, you know, someone that we touched on before yesterday, having some rough games and off the break, he is opting to hold the objective rather than to back his teammates up with kills, which I think is probably the better option for the two. Hef was just not really on fire yesterday. He wasn't in the zone as much as the rest of the members of Team Immunity were so if he can opt for more of a shot callie rotation based play style here in objective I think that might do the trick for them in this particular style but then at the same time they have to try and match the aggression that Divine Mind is putting up against them they really do now with Hef here uh, picks up one Flex Reigns is there for the cleanup uh, Bulldog out able to clean that up he's looking for Berserk hiding into okay, the fern Hef. double kill for Hef very lovely stuff from him. And there's two more if he's hungry for him. He's got some backup now. Shields are flashing Hef under a little bit of pressure here. Voltage giving him the support that he sorely needed. Now he picks up another one shot. Hef, he's struggled on this Slays department in the last few series, but no, he's turning up. He's going double positive. Um, noticing another little thing that Team Immunity are doing right now, which is when they get kills on the board, when they have the numbers up, they just don't touch the objective as much as they 
should be in these scenarios. Even just getting a couple of seconds on the board can be the deal breakers in these matches. Again, this is two rounds that you have to win in order for this. And those minute seconds can make for the absolute difference breakers, but they're just not going for the ball enough. They're getting the kills. They're getting the space on the map at the objective time just isn't happening. Yeah, sometimes that scrap time is just building house brick by brick. You do it one at a time, slow and steady. But Divine Mind, they seem to have pretty good control through this game. Immunity not out of it just yet, but they're quickly running out of time. And Divine Mind, they seem to have a lot of control of those power weapons too. Yep. Flex taking, picking up that double kill. Venno having the sacrifice to shut <laughs> that player down. AR comes out, the pink AR. Here he comes, chasing down Dante. Dante holding on. And I love oh! this play from Dante. The full outplay with the help from Voltage, Voltage there. There's Beaston with that Sentinel Beam. He does get shut down. Voltage with oh, a very tasty it. kill from the grave. Are you kidding me? He still gets it. Divine Mind go three down, but they match the pace that Team Immunity set right there in the Slay category. Again, look how consistent Divine Mind have been overall. Even when they just managed to trade a kill, that's enough for them to work with after on the reset. Right now, Team Immunity actually opting, instead of making the rotation for Tram, which they do ever so often, they're holding it back A. You've got Taj coming in from Pink Street, but look at the map right now. Two members bottom mid, two members are in Pink Street for Divine Mind. They're able to make these collapses so easily. They're picking apart Team Immunity piece by piece. Three down for Team Immunity right down, and that hold that they had is already gone. Yeah, and Divine Mind, they're very well set up right now. All the boys at the back of the map here in Immunity a little bit split right now. Benno with a solo push. Have to see if Raider can take him down. Oh, and he ran out no. of ammo. Volt, the help from Voltage comes in. The uh, old school duo there helping each other out. Uh, Berserk in a little bit of trouble. He does get an assist. He gets cleaned up by Benno as he slides in. Benno does not want to go down without a fight. He's got that Bulldog in hand. Ruff! Manages to get one in, but doesn't get the kill. Unfortunate for him now. We're on board with Flex. Divine Mind, they don't need, need too many points to put this one away, Bluey. No, they don't need too many points, but also they don't have to go for them either. Remember, in this particular scenario, you have so much space to play with with that ball time that you can just go for kills. You can just slay out the rest of the round. There is only 60 seconds left on the clock, which I think is a lot better than trying to just keep grabbing that ball over and over and getting scrap time. Just let the clock run out. Let Team Immunity have to come to you. If you can hold the ball in a position that is more difficult for you to get to rather than just keeping it, you know, in your hands, then you're doing all the better. Flex again has those rockets. We're going to see if he can make use of them like he did last time. He's got two in the tube currently, Flex Reigns and Divine Mind, opting to just finish this one out, get it over and done with. They're not playing with their food. They want oh. to move on to dessert and flex range. Very clean rocket there. Doesn't okay. connect on the hip. He only knocks down the shields, but it doesn't matter. He gets the clean up regardless. 95 points on the board for Divine Mind. Looks like they will be taking out round number one in our first game. Round number one in the bag for Divine Mind. And I would say pretty convincingly overall. I don't think at any point during that match, Team Immunity could match anything that was uh, that Divine Mind was doing at the time. Divine Mind, again, I want to give massive props to them were prioritizing those rocket spawns so well. They had the clock next to them, Justin. They knew exactly when they were coming up each and every time and were on them down to the millisecond. They really were, and I love this opening scrap, that fire over the spanker, and it does look like Flex Reigns. He's managed to grab those ones again. Puts oh, one to no! work on those. He's kind of whiffed both of them. He, <laughs> like, he got an assist. But anyway, they've got the ball regardless, and now points flooding in for Divine Mind. I mean, Team Immunity, they're already on the back foot and losing that opening scrap. They're in a tough situation right now, Blue. Yeah, Divine Mind right now are on fire, and I want to tap into a listen in with them to see how chaotic or frantic they might be in this position. Play ready, play ready. Sit there, yeah. sit there, sit there. I know you're there. I saw an arcade over flying to you, yeah, bro. We're coming, we're coming, we're coming. We're coming. Beast says, Beast says. Beast says, yeah, just leave him, leave nice him. Kill, die. Nice kill, bro. We're coming to you, guys. Good milking, bro. Guys, strike! Oh, fucking shit! Back tower! 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 Back Ah, uh, fuck it. Yeah, I like it, I like it, Jack. It's all good, it's all good. It's too peaceful, it's too peaceful. I've got a shit setup, I've got a shit setup, Ali. I've got a good spawn, I can maybe kill ball. Keep living, Ali, keep living. They fucked up, there's two guys uh, like two guys. Two guys weak, two guys weak. One's peaceful, peaceful. 
get out the crayons because it's colourful language from the Divine <laughs> Mind boys as usual. And they seem it's colourful, but they're in control. Yep. They're composed. They, you know, they're small talking really well. Their vocabulary uh, just very aggressive. We'll call it Bluey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Aggressive is the way to go. But this is something that we always expect from Divine Mind, right? They are very aggressive players, and of course that's going to come across in their comms. But what you'll notice is how supportive they were of each other. Every time a good kill came across the board, something that created them an opportunity or space, they were congratulating each other. And at this point in time, where this match is right now, that's exactly the kind of energy that you need to build up the pace for your team to keep that hype going, keep the energy alive. There is still a lot of Halo to play for them today, especially if they take Team Immunity down and make themselves go forward. Speaking of Team Immunity, have a peek at your scoreboard. They're currently in the lead, doubling the points. There's only about 15 points or so. Um, but immunity in the lead nonetheless. Berserk with Ooh. that bulldog does get shut down, unfortunately. Um, and Team Immunity doing well. They've main maintained their composure against the onslaught from Divine Mind. I love that banked grenade from Benno there looking for another player. Doesn't pick up the double kill. Been well positioned to grab that ball, bring it back, get another string of game time. Incredible that they actually just went three down there in that engagement and managed to turn it around. They bring the ball back into this tram setup, which has worked very well for them so far in this second round. The only problem is when Divine Mind actually managed to break this, it's donezo, it's over. Three go down for Team Immunity or four go down for Team Immunity. There's no really good recover unless they can guarantee themselves a good spawn but you just can't on a map like Streets. You can't control where you're spawning at all. And that's one of the big problems with holding Tram right now because if you spawn too far away with it, you are giving Divine Mind right now the setup that they need to just put 30 seconds on the board and catch up to your score. Yeah, and then that lead that Immunity have, it's fragile. Right, mm -hmm. particularly when they're set up like this, that is just going to disappear so quickly. Will no! Benno, boy, the whiff! It took three shots, but he does manage to get the kill, but he gets traded out, unfortunate. But there's Heft to clean up the mess, scooping that up. He's grabbing the leftovers there, and now Team Immunity, they have control once again, and Heft, you know, he's doing quite well here, holding down the fort. They've got eyes on this spanker as well. Dante scampers away with that one. And look at this. He's getting ready to take out. Oh. Yeah, he looks away. He shoots it out like an Fade action away. movie star. And he's like, nah, I'm not even going to look at that explosion. Surprising, though, that Dante was actually the one that managed to grab those rockets there because he had two members of Divine Mind already set up on the spawn. They just got peppered a little bit and then immediately backed down from it. Something I'm kind of surprised with because usually they take those engagements very aggressively. They want those powers weapons because those are the money makers speaking of which the uh, berserk showing that he is in fact the money maker for his team that aggressive thrust to play in the end doesn't work out for him but he did a fantastic job of clearing out Ooh. team immunity just then nice little double kill there from flex reigns and team immunity they're still in the lead currently divine mind they're getting right up in their faces not making it easy but i think team immunity they've kind of acclimatized to that ultra aggression that those divine mind players have raided with that shoddy shutting that player down now some cross map shots with the battle rifle gonna wait for his shields here looking at the plants watering them making sure that they're well hydrated now he's taking out dante oh, with on. that reversal and now Rated. Let's have a look at that scoreline. He's currently 9-9. Nine, nine. And then the ball time. Each member on Divine Mind and Immunity getting some ball time in there. Yeah, good ball time. Pretty actually even overall between these teams. Of course, you do have a member like Be Beaston on 65 seconds. But, you know, he's the outlier for this particular one, right? Overall, his objective time is massive, which is surprising to see come from a player like him because he's usually more orientated on just slaying out. And that's usually the position that Divine Mind put him in as well. There is a really good lead right now for team immunity to work with and this was what I was talking about before if they can just manage in this situation to make sure that divine mind can't get a hold of this ball then they can deny but man oh man when you have Beaston just running around with that sentinel beam microwaving every player that he has in his sights team immunity are going to need to pull out something drastic to keep themselves alive yeah, I mean, they're currently in the lead, but momentum very much in the favor of uh, Divine Minds currently. They have tied things up. They have the Rockets. Oh! Two for one for Flex Reigns. More points on the board and the killing spree for him as well. Another player's there, oh, able, to able to pick that one up and keep no! his teammate alive. Another double kill for him. Um, 
you know, I love to do it, but I'm paying the overkill because that was just too sick. Flex with that play secures them game one right here. They did take that oddball out super convincingly in the end. And we gave, we've given props to him over and over again during this weekend, but Flex, we know he's the shot caller for his team, and when he's performing like that, just securing that power weapon and using it so well in that situation, how can you not love them here? I mean, Immunity, they really had one last chance to keep things going. But mm. Flex just raining on their parade with that rocket launcher, back-to-back -back double kills. Yeah, exactly. And actually in that situation, you know, he was actually the one who prioritized rockets a lot during that match. But it was just in those final moments where they really wanted to bring it to Team Immunity. Make sure that, yep, all right, boys, you're going down and out for this one. And that's exactly what Flex did. Fantastic numbers across the board for Flex. Look at that, 37 and 21, six double kills. How many of those double kills were coming in back to back as well? Flex was just putting on the gas all at all times. Yeah, he just hit the burners every single time. I mean, even just the, that last 30 seconds or so, he just completely shot any chance that Immunity had to bring things back, you know, the two for one rocket and then getting super aggressive on the spawners that came up. He just completely picked apart Immunity. Yeah, exactly. But I would give that uh, that little award to pretty much every member of Divine Mind there. They were matching every member of Divine Mind. You know, it was just back-to-back -back fights, but every single time it was blue team members' names that we were seeing just get absolutely decimated. You know, this is the kind of Divine Mind that we love to see, and definitely I think it differs a little bit from the Divine Mind that we saw yesterday going up against Team Immunity in their first match on CTF Bizarre. This was a dominant performance from Divine Mind in this particular aspect, and yesterday it was so shaky for them, looking more in Team Immunity's favour, but now they're just coming back with a vengeance. They really are, and I'm not even sure that it has anything to do with Immunity necessarily playing poorly, uh, Bluey. I think it's just Divine Mind. They're, they're looking for the grand final. Yeah. They're, they're just like, this is a hurdle that we need to jump over. And the hurdle's this high, so it's just a little hop to go <laughs> over. That's what they're doing currently, and they just picked apart Team Immunity that time. Yeah, exactly. But looking on from this game, we do have the next match going on to Slayer. Live Fire. Now, this is one that we did just see Team Immunity compete in against the Chiefs. And let's be real here. They got kind of bodied. They were getting smacked around every way that you can possibly conceive. And going into this, you know, are they going to have to relive that nightmare going up against Divine Mind? Um, might be some flashbacks, but, you know, Team Immunity, very composed, right? They don't really let things uh, get to their heads. And you know what? Even the shellacking that they got from the Chiefs, I, I'm sure they're poking fun at each other. And like, Haha, Barco just bodied you again, Voltage, <laughs> or whatever. Just like, you know, vibing out. And so I'm sure they're going to bounce back. And I wouldn't worry too much about the mental. And it, yep. But it's whether or not that they can concentrate on the fact that they need to get in the heads of Divine Mind. They've done it before. You know, they don't tend to, you know, unexpected items in bagging area or smacking bodies, but they did the last time they met this tournament and it really got in Divine Mind's head. So maybe that's what they need to do. They need to get down and dirty rather than respectful gentlemen on the playing field. Yeah, exactly. Team Immunity are a team that is famous previously and now all across this weekend we pointed out time and time again that it's been able to remain so grounded every time they get in these to, into these positions where they are backed up against the wall and now is no different. Let's hope that they can take the smacking that they took from the Chiefs before, take it to them, not personally, but from from a learning experience into this next game against Divine Mind. Yeah, and we are launching things up with Benno, dropping that wall down and doing really well to take control of the map. They kind of four stack one area, Beaston down there with a heat wave. Benno saying, that's my weapon, please there, champ. But he shut down immediately by Berserk, oh. raided with that snipe, picking up one, hits the body on the second, not able to connect, but the assist does come through. Camo is about to pop and raid. It's gonna grab that one too. Doesn't manage oh. to get away, and it hasn't been popped. Jet Blue, he's sitting down there on the ground. Yeah, he didn't burn it. He dropped the sniper as well. I thought that they were absolutely going to be the ones to come out on top in that situation. But now, Benno. Benno, the man that we highlighted before being so strong in these situations, now has two power elements within his hands. All it takes is a little bit of spark for him to be able to pull off those crucial kills. But right now, he is playing 
very collected, very grounded, making sure to communicate with his team appropriately so he doesn't get caught out. You did see Flex just sort of shooting out on him before, making sure that camo was not activated, but we do see him wrap around, did pick up a nice little kill there, assisting, making a good rotation there and taking out Berserk, and man, oh man, there's a lot for Benno and Team Immunity to work with right now. Yeah, and it looks like they're herding them into the uh, corner there. Sheeps to the slaughter. Benno ready, not able to connect on that one. Ooh. Does find Raided, doesn't get the clean up there. Berserk oh. hits the body on him. Easy clean up for a man like Benno, and he's going to duck down. Raided sniffs him out. They've got to shut down that sniper player right now, and he's just chased down. That's exactly what they needed to do. They can't let Benno run a mark like he has been all weekend. No, Benno is one of those snowball players, right? When he gets into the zone, it is absolutely on. He did luckily manage to drop that sniper and fought, fell into the hands of one of his teammates, being Hef. Hef, a bit of a shaky player overall for this weekend, but if he shows us up right now with that snipe, which he didn't, neither of those last two shots connecting, but he does ring out those support shots, picking off Berserk with the help of his teammate. This fight over Camo right now is crucial. The pace of the match is being set. It's getting very stagnated, getting very standoffish. Both of these teams trading kills back to back. Not, no one really proving to be the more dominant one. And Hef, with this support, this, this man seems to be a little bit on right now. He is. I don't know how he survived for so long there, Bluey. But here comes Immunity. That tussle over that camo went on for so long. Now Dante with that scoreline is, is tied up currently, Bluey. Only two kills in it. And that camo, very critical for Team Immunity. They are so disciplined with those power-ups, mm. Bluey. They're there every single time contesting. Yeah, exactly. Very uh, Discipline is a fantastic word to use. Dante, look how patient he is with this camo right now. Doesn't connect the back smack, does get the double beat down. Should oh, be able to fight Beaston here, but he just whiffs a few of those BR shots. Beaston does take him down and is then taken down himself. Benno now with that Mangler. A bit of a power weapon in and of itself. Him chasing down Berserk. Doesn't get the hold this, but does get the assist. So now that snipe should fall into the hands of Team Immunity. And they are not down and out then. Almost tying up this score. There's three kills, the difference. A nice little kill coming out. Flex is one shot around Mangler. Can't secure that kill for Team Immunity. They are three down. They just seem to be getting picked apart, even when they seem to be coming back. Yeah, it's a fine mine. They've got a five kill lead right now, Bluey. We're about to cross over that half waypoint for this Slayer game on Lifer Raided hiding up there top mid with that Mengler waiting for things to come. There's Flex Reigns with that Montage Maker in hand. Six bullets to play with currently. Finds himself oh. one. Doesn't doesn't connect on it yet, Bluey. And there's Voltage caught out in the open with his pants down. One shot to the head will send him to the respawn screen. Now, I love this rotation from Flex. He's just moving throughout the map so comfortably, too. Mm. There's no pressure, Bluey. Yeah, What's I was going about on? to say, so comfortably, literally uncontested tested as the rest of the members of Divine Maya are also uncontested going for that camo. So they now are in possession of the sniper and the camo. A lot to work with here. A lot of power to work with here. Team Immunity, though, responding pretty well. They're getting a good push through top mid, holding sandbags as well, making sure there is no flanks from B. A 1v1 happening right now. Make that a 2v1. A 3v1 as Flex gets taken down, just pinched. That was ridiculous. That was just like a schoolyard beatdown from local bullies. Now with a voltage scoreline is six kills. The difference currently and voltage looking to bring their team back into it. He's currently six and five right now under a lot of pr pressure, able to scamper away with his life right now. Shields are flashing bluey. Hef did fall to the onslaught from Divine Mind. You just saw four Divine Mind players all pushing together. One has fallen. Benno grabbing a pick onto Flex Reigns. And now that scoreline for Divine Mind has bloated out to eight kills. The difference. Immunity. They haven't got much time left. No more rooms for missed out. Good back down from Taz there. He does rotate up top A door and gets melted completely as he meets so many faces of Divine Mind right there. Good trade going back and forth. Eight kills for Team Immunity to be able to tie this back up. The game is going to start slowing down. Raided with that uh, Repulsa play that I absolutely love. Going up the vent, getting the high ground in order to rain shots down. But Dante had his number dialed in and rotates himself in order to backsmack him. But it doesn't matter as so many members of Team Immunity are going down. Seven kills left for Divine Mind to secure another game and be one step closer to knocking out IM. But listen, we've seen Immunity do it time and time again. It'll be a real test if they can clutch it. Now, 
44 to 37. Divine Mind very close being able to uh, close this game out. But Immunity, the Clutch Kings, are they going to be able to do it? Raided picking up another one, 45 to 38. We're in this final moments of the game. Does look like Benno managed to get that camo though, Bluey. Yeah, Benno does have the camo. He's going to be making a high rotation right now. Nades go out on Beast and Beast and he's going to be one shot. He will rotate down a 1v1 with Raided. Trying to avoid that melee and he does taking Raided down. Raided, what are you doing, mate? Come on, press the button. You're going to need to. Does get taken down. Benno making a rotation through Rats Bridge right now. He's getting team shot, I believe that was. Berserk does secure himself another kill there. So there are only three more kills left for Divine Mind. They're going to have to make some cheeky pinches right now to try and tie this game up. Benno should have seen Raided. Uh, sorry, Benno should have seen Berserk sneaking around Brutes there. Raided is playing for his life. Does get taken down by Dante. There is such a close-knit match right now. They are meeting face-to-face. -face. Team Immunity needs to make sure that these rotations are clean and crisp in order to keep themselves alive in this game. Yeah, Immunity cannot afford to drop any more kills and they just traded out 48 to 44. Divine Mind currently holding on to their lead. Team Immunity oh. hanging on by a thread. The push comes in. 49, 49 to 45. Divine Mind, they are one kill away from being able to take this one out. Raided, smelling blood in the water, going like a shark. Benno shutting him down with the help of Dante. 49 to 46, Bluey. Beaston with that mangler. And two players there. No! The enemy trades it out oh. and closes the game, Bluey. Justin. Isn't it poetic justice that the last kill within that game happens to be a Mangler beatdown? Something yeah. that I know that uh, we love and every, commu uh, every community member loves as well. Yeah, that trade, that's got to be heartbreaking. That Immunity, sucks. They were clutching things out, but they slipped a little bit and missed third gear. Yeah, they actually brought it back so well, and hopefully they look at that match and realize that they do have a lot of fire left in them. There was a lot of potential in that game for them to take that particular one, you know, 50 to 48. They were playing so well at the end of that match, though. I do want to highlight, uh, highlight sorry, once again, Hef is the player on IM who seems to be struggling a little bit. He's getting the good support team shots out, but at the end of the day, if he's not winning his 1v1s, he's going to fall behind. Yeah, it is a little bit of the case. I hate to say it. Um, Berserk highlight player here, 16 and 13 with nine assists. Great stuff from him. Cheeky little double kill in there and some perfect shots out of his BR. But the game was that close, so you can't you can't expect to see massive score lines uh, no, in, yeah, in exactly. KD when it's a 50-48. And yes, Divine Mind managed to close that one out, Blue, but the thing is that they were eight or ten kills in front at one point, and Immunity, they started bringing things back. And, yep. you know, Divine Mind, mind they were able to hold on and close things out but that's been kind of you know their Achilles heel a little bit they haven't been good closers so far this weekend yeah that's a really good point you bring up actually they never actually managed to just pull that last bit of string to get them closer to just winning those games they come so close every single time but I think that's actually just a testament to how close team immunity really are to divine mind you know the oddball was a bit of a schwacking but we come into this uh, team slayer and they are so closely matched in fact, I think it was a member of Divine Mind who had the lowest damage on the game there with about 2.8k, which, again, isn't fantastic to see. Even Hef was pulling out more damage than that, which just shows how good Team Immunity's team shot is. Yeah, but now, the Divine Mind, they're two up in the series. Yep. Buddy. They're one map away for their rematch with the Chiefs. Yep. They have their eyes set on it. Immunity. When's the last time they've been in this position? Elimination bracket, not in the grand finals. It's ever. Have they ever been in this position? I'm not sure, but their backs are firmly up against the wall currently. This is it for it's, them. It's do or die situation. They've got to get that reverse sweep if they want to have their rematch with the Chiefs. Yeah, exactly. It's going to take them to win three games back to back to back right now in this series and going into a recharge game now is a map in particular that team immunity really has struggled with in my opinion i don't think they have really good rotations especially not as good as what divine mind have immunity don't really prioritize the shock rifle as much as divine mind do either and for divine mind that works well so much in their favor because a shock rifle in the hands of someone like Berserk is not a good time. No, it's really not a shocking experience for everyone involved. <laughs> now on board with Voltage, last chance to keep their tournament lives going, um, but a couple of 
players from a team immunity already dropping. Voltage finding himself raided, raided getting away there, but I think Voltage had complete trust in Dante to clean that one up for him, and he's waiting for Berserk. Oh. There's the back smack, sending him into the respawn screen, and I love that use of camo. You know, patience wins the race. Look, at, this. Look at the patience here, Blue. He's just watching him. He's like, Beaston, what's up, bro? Oh, no. Oh, Beaston no! comes out on top after all of that. To be fair, though, you could see Beaston knew he was there. He was not entirely sure, but he would have seen those glimmers of the camo just reflecting in space, making sure to keep his number on that area at all times. And look, Justin, at the end of the day, the Mangler is just the stronger of the two in that situation. It is a very beast and weapon indeed. Now with Dante, he drops right away, casts his curse, and Benno setting himself up in the sea stronghold, and he's going to try and get some points on a board for his team. But look Whoa. at the flex reigns with the sword cleaning and getting that secure as well. Uh, Hamp doing his best to stay alive, but he does get cleaned up as well. Flex reigns, he's been putting up big numbers. You can't let him have the sword, Bluey. You just can't let it happen. No, you cannot let him have the sword. And another thing that you can't let Divine Mind have as a whole is that B point. We've seen in previous Strongholds recharge matches where Team Immunity have B on, uh, been on sorry, that they just don't prioritize the B Stronghold. They need to make a good rotation for that middle hold. That's where the points are. That's the money maker right there. If you can get a good hold on one of those A and C points and then the B, you can essentially just lock down a spawn for the majority of the map. But Team Immunity seem to really struggle with making plays like that. They do. Berserk with that double kill. And look, before we launch into the series, we talked about the fact that Divine Mind, if they have to have any hope against the Chiefs, they need to make a statement and take this game out in three games. And it looks like they're doing just that. Two more strongholds for them, so they're going to be racking up some points. Team Immunity oh, struggling Hef. a little bit. Hef gets sent down. See you later, son. Now Berserk rotating through the map very freely. There's just no pressure put on them. Divine Mind just has complete map control, Bluey. No, not at all. Berserk just able to rotate pretty much free through mid, which you don't like to see. There are no members of Team Immunity looking at prioritizing top gold just to get those little pepper shots out to do a little bit of damage. Berserk just taking the high road there in that situation, getting so many kills, getting so much space, so much movement. A 1v1 with Dante right now does get taken down. Dante, the man on top, someone that we've looked to as being one of those main slayers for the Team Immunity roster. Taj now rotating towards A, and again, they just can't secure these points, Justin, they've been stuck on C and C long for so long. This team immunity getting a little bit desperate, I think, Blue. They're, they're jumping in strongholds before getting any picks, and now they're three down in the kill feed momentarily there on board with Berserk. He just oh. sits down on the ground. He's having a little bit. He crossed his legs, reading a book, having a bit of a snack and winning that there 1v1. Go. There's Hef down as well. A shock rifle across map. Bano is narrowly surviving that, but gets cleaned up anyway. Triple cap for Divine Mind. They're they're looking to secure their ticket to the grand finals. Whiffs a little bit there, but it doesn't matter because he has the help. Hef and Dante, 2v1ing Berserk to shut him down there. Raider being very sneaky in the corner, takes down Dante. He's sent to the respawn screen. They're dying left and right. It's just complete mayhem, but Divine Mind, there is purpose in the chaos. Yeah, Immunity right now have a very good opportunity. Nearly in sync, capturing B and C, but B does get stopped by one member of Divine Mind on board with Berserk, once again rotating through bottom PC gets picked off by Dante. We've seen that narrative before. Seems to be a bit of a face-off between those two. Consistently, you can see right now on the map, if you just paid attention, Benno does have camo. He has done the little jump up, was looking to go behind Flex Reigns, but Flex does get taken down before, looking to provide his team member on C with some backup. Pinching Berserk right now in Gold Tunnel, takes him down. But once again, Justin, what I'm noticing is when they get these picks, Team Immunity just can't really do a lot with them. No, it just seems like every single time they're trying to stem the bleeding, they're just bleeding out. Like, uh, 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 I'm lost for words. It's just <laughs> divine mind. They seem to be showing up so heavily, and I think this might be... It's the first time in ages the Team Immunity has man managed to get two strongholds. Yeah. And we've got Voltage here. He's just literally backed into the corner, but Flex Reigns does get on the uh, nasty end of that grenade just there. 
Team Immunity with two on the board, so they have are going to start collecting some points, Blue. But they're in oh. big trouble. Divine Mind only 100 points away from securing this win. Yeah, only 100 points for Divine Mind, and if they can pull out this last 100 as convincingly as they have done for the rest of these games, then it is going to be the swan song for Team Immunity. Team Immunity right now, if they lose this map, they're gone, Justin. They get sent home. All the battles that they fought yesterday are for nothing right now, unless they can really bring it back. You know that this team would want to be facing off against the Chiefs. They want that rematch against them, but just right now, with Divine Mind, they can't seem to get anywhere in. They can't do any shutdowns. There's no space being created. The team shots seem so frantic. The comms must be frantic too. Team Immunity right now are just not looking as solid as what they have been throughout the entirety of this weekend. Yeah, but listen, is it Team Immunity fumbling the bag, or is it Divine Mind just there to catch that old big bag of cash, which is what they're playing for with a ticket all the way to the grand finals? Flex Reigns there with that shock rifle, two strongholds there, racking up points, and they're very close to closing this one out. But Voltage has something to say about it with the sword, picking up one. There's oh, the there second we go. double kill for him. Good opportunity for a team immunity to grab strongholds, and they might be able to go on one last push, last ch chance for team immunity. A B comes out, a B cap comes out right now. They're rotating to C. Good kill for Voltage right there. He's going to come face to face with Raiden. And if he can secure this kill right now, it's going to be huge for them. He does have two members pushed into top PC. They're letting out the team shots onto the members of Team Immunity. That is Dante over there down on gold stairs. He's going to come face to face with another member. Does get stuck from the grave. Flex is going to be able to rotate on A. It's just stop. Get a little bit of a cap on, but we triple do have a triple immunity. cap for Team Immunity. This could be the comeback that they need. They're going to have to play so strongly right now. They're going to have to get great positioning in order to make sure that they can put T uh, Divine Mind back in the dust. Great flank from Hef there, just picking apart uh, Divine Mind. Your team Immunity, they're starting to heat up. Here they come, holding that triple cap. They're not opting to hold two. They want to maintain that pressure. Divine Mind, they had complete complete control over the entire map. And look at this lead, they're only on 120 points. They're not too far behind. And here's Benno, star player this weekend. He is sent down and Divine Mind trying to stop that bleeding. But every time they do, Team Immunity just sliding in and resetting those strongholds. Team Immunity have finally got these rotations in order, Justin. They're finally working together as a hive mind, managing to just collapse on one another, ensuring that they have those supportive shots out right now. You do see a member of Team Immunity flying across the map, don't know where that shock rifle went. It's probably long gone by now. Voltage rotating back from top tower onto C, making sure to stop that point. More points are going to be ticking up for Team Immunity right now as they rotate from B to uh, from C for two members to be on B. Fantastic stuff coming out from Team Immunity. This is what we wanted to see. They're not letting this go. They're not letting it slip out of their hands like sand. Yeah. Tournament lives are on the line, and I want to hear what they have to say with their backs up against the wall. Let's jump in with a listen in. Right, if he has it somewhere. Yeah. It's probably towards C, pushing the pipes over. Two top gold. Berserk, weak Probably. in B. Back B, weak. Berserk. Yeah, Did one hand B. Yeah, and two turbine. turbine, two turbine. Camo's, camo's in B. Camo's in B. Watch your, your needles going for an opportunity when you'll have it. Last one, last one have it. Nice hammer, three dead. Last one's in B. He has camo. One shot, one shot, back B. Cap and C. One shot yeah, back I see for you. I see flat, one shot. One shot under me. Weak, berserk. I'm looking towards two seconds, two Coming seconds. Up. I got you, I got one you. One shot. Nice. Sneaky, but me, Benno. One hit. One shot on Benno. I'm coming, Benno. Nice. Shit on, bro. Oh, you're oh, you're uh, behind me. Bellage, 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 bellage. Top A. Pushing, There's only I'm one pushing. at A. Play A. Yeah, no, I'm pushing B. I'm looking, B. Yeah, I'm looking B. Weak, flex, two shots. Top gold, in B, in B. Another one, another one. Pushing top tower as well. One shot there, Get him, bro. One shot B. One's in B and one was top tower. Look at C here, they might push triple. Yeah, in yeah. C, that's a kill, that's a kill, push him. He's two hits, ready. Yeah, he's backed up. I'm, I'm needed, I can't push. I'm going low, I'm going low, I'm weak, I'm weak. Okay. I'm one. I tried to, he's absolute top gold. 
during that entire time, or nearly that entire time of the team communication there, Team Immunity had such a good, such a strong triple cap, but unfortunately it has fallen apart now. Divine Mind taking both A and B. It looks like they're gonna triple cap themselves and just rack up those points so fast. We are seeing Benno and Voltage rotate for A right now, just trying to stem the bleeding a little bit on this. A B cap as well, so even if the rotation isn't that strong, a critical kill for Benno. They are gonna be able to flip two points right now. They need to have a little bit of a rotation back to B. You do see Hev rotate back for it right now. A double cap for them. They're still in this, Justin. They're still fighting strong. How has Team Immunity managed to bring this one back, Bluey? I am lost for words. 233 to 211 control to immediate uh, immunity flex range with the camo he gets shut down immediately so he's not going to be able to be very sneaky with that dante with the double kill they're putting divine mind on the back foot the team immunity is so close to tying this one up they've got control of a they've got control of b and they're turning over stronghold c2 bluey if they can get C, that triple cap is going to enable them enough time. Divine Mind will not have time to choose what point to capture. They need to prioritize just ticking over that C or locking Divine Mind down on C for enough time. There's there's so little the time left here. There's only seven seconds on the clock, but the B stronghold is ticking over. They need to stop that right now. They need such a strong, convincing team shot to ring out. They need to shut down Divine Mind as Divine Mind are just ticking points up. They are now all tied up. Divine Mind taking the lead. Five seconds on the board. Immunity, you need to get something here. Divine what mind. are you doing? The fumble, and they're done. Team Immunity are out. Are you kidding me? Bronze medal for Team Immunity. They came oh. so close. The clutching it once again, but Divine Mind, they send them pack in and just punch their ticket to the grand final. He had the grapple as well. Like, during that time, he could have made the space so quickly and actually gotten onto that point, but... Oh, such a disappointing defeat for Team Immunity. But again, Divine Mind, look at the way that they were playing throughout that series. Yes, they did fumble in that stronghold a little bit, but they came back so strong. They were so powerful. And Team Immunity, you know, what can you do when you're in that situation? You've just gone up against Chiefs and now Divine Mind, and you have to take on such top-tier teams. You just get beaten down one after another. But again, Team Immunity did play quite well. I can't believe they brought that backed and I know oh, divine mind you know I get a, I get nervous every time and it's like boys close it out close it out you're <laughs> almost there immunity they're bringing things back bringing things back and you know divine mind that you know they're fumbling a little bit but they catch it last yep. second and able to close that one aisle and going 3-0 to team immunity no team immunity in a grand final in ANZ Halo I how know. crazy is that that's ridiculous you know we've talked about it time and time again team immunity for us is such a fabled team and they've been taken down by you know what are you you wouldn't say the complete young guns but for this we'll say the young guns for divine mind looking at this you know inman luke hoots team immunity losing is that as defeating for you as it feels for me I don't feel like defeating is the word. I think looking at this, we certainly have been given a good insight into how Divine Mind are going to play for the rest of the day. The fact that they're able to rally around themselves and get this final map done and dusted in three. Uh, Josh, I know you've been bouncing around. You've given fingers up everywhere else. Thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs down for everybody here. But... The fact that they were able to get this done 3-0 goes to show that these guys are here and these guys are trying to make a fight for the title too. Yeah, I mean, Divine Mind, I mean, what could you say? It was very close the entire way. Oddball Streets, yeah, they look really, really strong in that, but Immunity really took the fight to them the entire way. 50-48 Slayer, 250-243. That was an absolute nail-biter there in that final game, and I was kind of worried for the prediction. Did come through in the end, though, <laughs> just saying... But no, credit to Team Immunity. They did so, so well. And it must be said, Hoots, I wonder what would have happened if that map actually went to Immunity. I mean, that last five seconds or so, we were screaming, saying, Dante, just get in, get in. He did have no shield, so it was going to be a danger. But you at least just want to try and stop the score from yeah. going up and force them to at least maybe get out of position to reset it and get a pick. Cross map, I don't know. But yeah, I think that sort of sums up what these series have been between these two teams, right? We've often gone to five games, and in this sense, 
it's just so close in all of them. They could have easily gone to a five games. Yeah, I think, you know, looking back across some of the scores, right, it, it could have certainly been a tale where we're looking at this and maybe even if things had gone a little bit differently for Team Immunity, we could be looking at a 2-1 scoreline for them. And then we could be going to map number four, looking towards a potential fifth. But with that, unfortunately, we say goodbye to Team Immunity here at the ANZ HCS Super. They will be taking home 6,000 American dollars and a whole lot of pride as well, the way that they've been able to play across this weekend. But Divine Mind bouncing back after an upset from Team Immunity in that winner's semi-final. And now, Josh, they've got a date with Destiny. The Chiefs, the only team to beat the Chiefs in a series, has been Divine Mind. The question is, can they do it when it really counts? Yeah, it w after all of the insanity that we've seen throughout this tournament, we kind of end up to where most people probably would have predicted. Chiefs, Divine Mind in the grand final and divine mind coming off that win they must be feeling good however just remember the chiefs the limited time that we've been able to see them they've just been manhandling the other teams yeah. and it's been they're coming out of a 3-0 victory themselves against team immunity divine mind have just done the same another 3-0 and obviously getting that sweet sweet revenge as well is going to be gassing them up a little going into this grand final it needs to be said though chiefs are just i don't know they're scary yeah Scary how good that we've seen the Chiefs play so far across this weekend. But ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it is time for us to jump into this grand final. We've got a short break before you guys can sink your teeth into the final series here of the ANZ HCS Super. So make sure you guys join us after this for the grand final. <laughs> 